In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to trade in Murder Mystery 2 and get as many weapons as you want. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right on with it. Now, in one week, I was able to get all of this, and how I started to trade was first by finding places to actually trade. Now, you can find a bunch of official Discord servers to trade in, guys, and I'll be leaving the links to all of them down in the description below. Now, in these servers, you can find many trades fast and even look for particular items that you want. Now, even before that, you need to know the value of the items and MM2 values as well as Supreme values is a great job in doing that. Personally, me, I prefer MM2 values. What's also really cool about MM2 values is that there is a trade checker where you can check if the trade you're doing is good and or if you're gonna be making profit off of that trade. And they also have trading servers where if you click on the link, it'll take you directly into Roblox into a brand new server with just traders. And they also have their own trading guide if you guys wanna read it too. Again, I'll be linking MM2 values and Supreme values down down in the description below. Now I'll be teaching you methods on how to make profit. The best way to make profit is to buy stuff for cheap and then just sell it for more. So let's say if you have a Chroma Swirly Gun, which currently costs 645 value, you will try to buy it with items that cost around 545 value and below. So once you get the Swirly Gun, that means you made 100 value in profit. Now let's just say hypothetically you do this five times. That means you've made 500 value in just a short amount of time. Now, of course, some of you are starting off with smaller items. So make sure that you're always paying under its original value price to make as much profit as you can. One thing you must learn also about trading is supply and demand, which means what items are good to trade and what items are bad to trade. Here are some examples. On MM2 values, they make this very easy. On every item, it states whether something is unstable or stable. Unstable means it's most likely going to lose its value, and stable means the item is currently at a perfect value. Now, they also have other stuff like rising, hyped, overpaid, and other tags you can read right here. Now, you need to know these in order to trade, because if not, then you you might do a very bad trade and lose a lot of value which isn't good a great way to make a ton of value on trading as well is by holding items that people are overpaying for so let's say there's like an item that people really really want and they're willing to overpay for just because they want it in the game just to kind of flex around it or something what you can do is find somebody who's selling it at a decent price and then just resell it for more now something i always recommend when trading is don't only buy stuff that you want to keep if you guys do buy something that you really want to use in the game make sure that you have leftover items that you can trade because let's say if you put all of your inventory into one item to keep then you can't trade unless if you trade that item that you really wanted to keep and then now you're kind of stuck and then you just lose the item that you really wanted to keep what you can also do to make a ton of profit is by completing sets of an item for example Let's say you get like all the chroma items in the game. You can sell the entire set for much more because it's harder for somebody to go and individually look for those items. So if you are able to complete a set of an item, make sure to price it for more because you took the time out of your day to complete it and it'll be much more easier for them to get it from you than to have them find it all individually. And this brings me to my next point. Make sure to ask for add-ons on items because they might be willing to add just because they really want the item you're trading to them and it doesn't hurt to ask. My perfect way to get good items in MM2 is by getting rid of junk for one item. Now here's an example. Let's say you want a Chroma Shark that costs 100 value. What you can do is trade let's say three to four bad items for just the Chroma Shark. So like for example the Snake Bite costs 25 value, a monster costs 20 value, Vampire Gun which costs 55 value equals 100 and you'll be able to buy a Chroma Shark while also getting rid of your junk that you don't need. Just make sure you are correctly adding everything up. As I said before, on MM2 values, you can check if your trade is good. Something I've learned with trading is make sure you are patient in your trades and do not rush your trades. Just because something might be hard to trade, it doesn't mean it's impossible. What I recommend doing is keep posting it on trading servers and wait for someone to want it. I promise you it's possible to get rid of the hard to sell items. What's super cool about MM2 is they always have events with new items. So I always recommend when there is a new event, grind the events and then get the new weapons as they'll be high in demand and a lot of people will want to trade for them as well. Something I also recommend that if there is an item that is very easy to sell, always buy a bunch of them and sell them. Buying and selling the same item for a profit is a good way to make value. Now, another very, very important thing to do while trading is to watch out for scams. So what I mean by this is somebody might say like, oh, 
I can do something and give you more items, give me your account information. If any single person does this, do not click it, do not click any links that they might give you because it might be a scam link, they might take your account and then just want to steal all of your items on Roblox. Now guys, this is the end of the video, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.